So Alicia Edwards on the last episode of Impact has become the number one contender for the knockouts title. And I know people want to hear my thoughts on this because people have been messaging me, asking me my thoughts on this because they know I'm an Alicia Edwards mark. As I've said in my last upload, I'm going to drop this caveat a couple times. I am back. The channel is back. There's some clear differences. I had mentioned there was going to be a rebranding. And those things will be explained next time I do a full review, whether it's impact, turning point, whatever it is. Um, I will get into everything. But for now, just know I'm back. And know that I'm jazzed because Alicia Edwards has a title shot. We want the gold. We're coming for the gold, sucker. Um, I was actually, I wasn't watching this live as I, I typically don't with Impact. And um, <laughs> I saw the clip of her tossing out two girls with red hair. Um, I don't even know who at this point. And I was like, no shit. Um, when they released this match graphic about the 10 girls, I honest to God had no clue who was going to win. Everyone had like a tag team partner in the fucking graphic. Um, and I know they added a random uh, chick to the, to the, the match and they even played up that Alicia was saying, Hey, we need to team up because we're the only non team in here. Um, so, you know, what in the Taylor rising that was, I don't know. I, I don't remember the, the wrestler's name. Clearly someone local there, maybe a future knockout, who knows? But um, at one point, Alicia was thrown through the ropes and you know, this play has this, uh, this has been played out quite a bit. This finish where, they don't know who's eliminated. Um, and then the person comes in and, and dumps them. And Jody Thread gave her a helping hand by lifting involuntarily, or voluntarily, I should say, lifting her leg over the top rope. And there was an elimination. Now, we know that at these Impact Plus shows, these title matches, more often than not, are, are throwaways. They're the Brian Myers challengers and you know, those kind of matches. They're, they're typically throwaways. We haven't been getting a whole lot of title changes. Like sometimes we do, but we don't get a whole lot. And for whatever reason, the company feels the need to defend every single title at every single one of these shows. I've talked about it ad nauseum, you know, just defend two of the belts, you know, like for emergence, you know, Alex Shelley was in a tag match. Like I don't see why you can't just do that sometimes. Why you can't just put your champions in tag matches. Why, they need to defend. I mean, maybe you feel they need to defend every 30 days. I don't know. The company is small enough that I think the fans would be okay if they weren't defended all the time. One time it's the tag titles and the knockouts tag titles. The next time it's the X Division Championship and the the Internet Championship. Obviously, I meant the digital media. I'm just joking with you. Um, and then and then maybe a world title. You know what I mean? But Neither here nor there, Alicia Edwards is wrestling for the title. I'm super excited about it. Is she going to win? Yes. I'm kidding. 100% no. Um, Trinity has tapped out Deanna Perrazzo twice. Um, they're obviously going to do a program with her and Jordan Grace. They're definitely wanna, going to want to do something with her and Mickey James. Maybe Bound for Glory. I don't know. Or they're going to do some kind of three-way Bound for Glory. But we know that Alicia Edwards is not going to win. It, it's a uh, it's a throwaway title match. But shit, I'm still here for it because I've been asking for years, for years and years and years. Like, put her in a program. You're always Eddie's wife. She's always Eddie's right wife. Granted, in this story, she's still Eddie's wife. But they're just doing more with it rather than just her tagging along, um, yelling at him in a bad Boston accent. She's now doing something as an actual match. And the few times that she's wrestled where the match means something, she she does pretty decently. And she cut this promo the last episode that sounded really good. You know, I, I think it's when she tries to put on the Boston accent too strong. That's when the, the bad acting comes out. Um, because I don't think it's really that strong in real life. But when she just kind of lets it flow, talks natural, you know, she sounds a lot better. So Alicia Edwards... Um, definitely winning the knockouts championship. I'm kidding, of course, but I'm very jazzed for the match. 